Joining us now is CNN aerospace analyst Miles O'Brien. Stuck in space? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm sure for astronauts, you know, they're are they prepared for for something like this? This kind of a delay? Well, I, I suppose for an astronaut, Amra, being stuck in space is probably one place you don't mind being stuck. Having said all of that, adding about six months to what should have been about a six-day mission uh, is something that uh, you might uh, have some pause over. Having said that as well, though, they're test pilots, and they knew this could have been part of the drill if things didn't go right with this Boeing Starliner. And boy, things have not gone right with this uh, space uh, ship. It has been a, a real problem for NASA and for Boeing. So... Um is this anything more than an annoyance? I mean, supplies will obviously be enough. Um, is there any other challenge beyond just wanting to come back home uh, if they have to stay until February? You know, it's funny you mentioned supplies, Victor. Right before they launched, uh, that, that is to say, Sonny Williams and Butch uh, uh, Whitmore, who are up there in stock, so to speak, uh, the uh, water circulation system on the International Space Station failed. And so NASA asked the astronauts, hey, would you mind not bringing any extra clothing so we can pack this piece of equipment in that space? And so oh, they said, wow. fine. And so they went up there without a change of clothes. Mm. Now, of course, there's a lot of stuff on board the International Space Station. And, but, you know, there are no showers either. Uh, okay. Wow. Wait, what? There are no showers. <laughs> he just said there are no showers. I mean, I and guess it makes sense when you think about it, Miles. Clothes. But I hadn't Can you really imagine? thought about it. That's awful. Um, well, so what about the, yeah. the logistics? I mean, why, why do they need this much time potentially until 2025 if <clears throat> SpaceX might be an option? And then on the other side of this, <clears throat> then does a Starliner come back to Earth on its own? It'll be unmanned? Yeah, for, I'll ask the, the last one first. That is what uh, NASA and Boeing are preparing for now, a possible uh, unpiloted entry for the Starliner. It's done that twice before. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. The reason it's taking so long is what they're, they don't want to disrupt the flow of crew in and out of the space station too much. So there's a four-person crew that was ready to launch as early as next week and stay up there for uh, a six-month increment. That if they take two of those crew members out of that mission, and for all intents and purposes, Butch and Sonny become a part of that mission, uh, freeing up two seats. But instead of just turning right back around, they will keep them all up there until that uh, SpaceX capsule was due to leave in February. So they've sort of been drafted into a crew position that they didn't fully expect. Hmm. What are the uh, concerns, if any, about impacts on the physical body? Well, you know, we've had astronauts stay up there for uh, in excess of a year. As a matter of fact, we had an astronaut who uh, was supposed to be up there for six months, and his Russian spacecraft wasn't operating correctly. He had to stay an additional six months, setting a record of over a year. And when you stay in space for a long period of time, Victor, your bones become more brittle, your uh, cardiovascular system suffers a bit. And believe it or not, astronauts have difficulty with their vision frequently when they return from space. So there's a series of, of biological consequences to this, which NASA has been studying for years on the space station. And one of the big things they do is they make them work out a lot. They spend a couple of hours every day on the treadmill, uh, which kind of takes me back to that idea that they don't have a change of clothes. <laughs> but uh, we'll leave it at that. Well, no, no. Well, I got to ask you one last thing. <laughs> We're not going to leave it at that. No, I mean, if, if there is, not, obviously makes sense, no showers, but the astronauts are able to clean themselves, right? I mean, that's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah they have kind of wipes. They wipe yeah. themselves down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kind of All right. Good enough for some people. Eight months just hitting the hot spots. <laughs> Miles O'Brien, <laughs> thanks so much for being right, with folks. us this morning. Thanks, Miles.